Hello everyone, welcome to Business Core Tutoring. I'm Devin Coombs and today we will be covering question two in our series about statistics. So let's dive right on in. So the question reads, a random sample of 10 items is taken from a normal population. The sample had a mean of 82 and a standard deviation of 26. Which is the appropriate 99% confidence interval for the population mean? And there's a series of answers. We pulled all of these questions from CSUN's Gateway Lab exam, so you can follow along, and you can find that link in the comment below. Uh, I didn't write these questions, so don't judge the English. It wasn't me. Don't shoot the messenger. So the most important part of this question is to realize we're just looking for a formula. And so as long as you understand basic statistics, you should be able to derive a formula from this. Uh, the thing is I noticed right away that because it's 10 items, it's fewer than 30, so it's not going to be a z-score, so that cancels out a and c. So it has to be a t-score, and we know 82 is the mean, so of course we're going to have that on the left side of the equation. And then the only question is, do we divide the 26, which is a standard deviation, by uh, the 10 items, by the sample size? So let's pull some facts out of this, and hopefully this will help you. So the formula, just so everyone understands it, is the mean plus or minus the t-score, the t being because it's below 30, uh, times 0 0.005, because it will be a one-tailed test, uh, times the standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So we kind of solve that right here. Uh, not there, I'm sorry. Right here, we see that we need to take the square root of the sample size, which is 10, in order to find it. That's just the formula. Uh, the t is two-tailed, so 0 0.005 is calculated by taking half of 1%, because it's a 99% confidence interval. So that will give our 1%, uh, the 1% will be the difference. 1 minus 99, 1 99% is 1%, so 100% minus 99%. And then we multiply that by half to get our 0 0.005, because it's that one-tailed test. So, our, since our mean is 82, uh, that's plus or minus the t-score uh, times the 0 0.005, so these b and d are the same right now, uh, times the 26, which uh, was our standard deviation, so all that's correct. The reason d will be correct is because then it's divided by the square root of the sample size. So, that's the most important thing to remember for this question, is to take the square root of the sample size. Remember, it's a t-score because it's less than 30. We will probably get asked a question similar to that on most basic statistics exams. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment below. Please subscribe to my channel or uh, write on my Twitter if you want to know anything at all. And have a wonderful day.